This is Total Outdoor Programming. Hey, what's up? This is Marty. Me and Dave are out on the lake. We're going to be doing a little bit of fly fishing for bluegill. Uh, you guys do a lot of fly fishing. Uh, you're probably going to think this is really basic beginner stuff, and that's because it is. So this is kind of like our version of uh, fly fishing for beginners. But just going to give you a few tips on what we do. Catching bluegill on the fly is a lot of fun. If you've never tried it before, I'd really suggest that you try it. So anyways, real cheap setup here. This is actually a Shakespeare fly rod. Just some uh, basic fly line on there. And we're going to tie a leader on here. And we're going to be fishing with wet flies, which means they're flies that will go underneath the water a ways. And that works really pretty easy for catching bluegill most of the time, as long as they're in a biting mood. All right, so what we're going to put on this pole here We've got just basic fly line, which you can get right there next to all the cheap fly rods. And you don't need a ton of line in there because you're not gonna be casting very far on this. You wanna go ahead and tie on a leader. And what I'm using here is just six pound test, the same kind of line that we've got on these little ultralight poles for bobber fishing. And I'll tie it right on to the actual fly line here. And we've got a video that you can watch that explains how to actually tie that on to the line so they connect and it will be strong enough to work for basic pan fish fishing. And then on the other end of the leader, we're gonna go ahead and tie on what's called a wet fly. These are actually flies that my wife has tied. And we'll put some videos together at some point explaining how she does those and uh, something that's kind of fun that she enjoys doing. We've got a wide variety of flies you can choose from. You know, sky's the limit. You can find these at little bait stores and stuff. But what we're looking for for the pan fish is just something, whoop, Small and basic. It doesn't have to be anything all that fancy. Just something small that's going to kind of mimic some kind of bug in the water. And these are actually what are called wet flies, which means they'll go under the water and they'll actually attack the fly underneath the water instead of on the surface. All right, so like I said, this is fly fishing for beginners. It's not going to look like something you're going to see on some uh, movie with Brad Pitt fly fishing on a stream somewhere or something. Just basic fly fishing. We're not going to be trying to make these long beautiful casts. We're just trying to get this little tiny fly to go from here about 30 or 40 feet over that way. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and peel some of this line out here because you want to have a little bit of line extended out to get started with. And I'll just pull it on through. So we've got some line out at this point. Okay, now that we've got a little bit of line hanging out, probably got about 10 feet of the actual fly line hanging out, you're gonna to wanna to leave a little bit down here as a handle to kind of keep a hold of, and that's gonna be kind of like your guide as you go back and forth. What you wanna do is just kind of do a stiff movement in a way that kind of goes back, and then as you feel the line start to load up behind you, you're gonna go on forward and just push that line that way. Once you get out there a little bit, go back, Kind of get used to the feel of that weight as it loads up and starts to bend the tip of the pole and that you once you get to the point where you feel it load up with weight then just kind of gently reverse it the other direction you're just kind of going back and forth like this almost more with your elbows than anything else now as you get where you're starting to feel that line load up with weight, you wanna go ahead and start stripping out a little bit of line as you start to go on your forward cast so it could actually pull that extra line out a little bit further. Bring it back, wait for it to load up, start to go forward and strip out just a little bit of line as you do it and let it take that out. Now as that line starts to get further out, you've got more line out that you're working with, it's gonna take longer between each cast. You'll have to wait for all of that line to travel and load up on the rod before you start redirecting it. Okay, so all we're trying to do is get this about 30 feet that way. As of this point, I've already got it going about 20 feet. So I'm just gonna keep repeating that process and trying to just inch it out there about two, three feet at a time until I get it out to about 30 feet. And then once I feel like I've got it where I want it, where I think the bluegill are gonna be, I'm just gonna give it one last cast and let it feed all the line out. 
and just rest on the water. Now once that hits, you want to keep your tip low down towards the water and just gently start tugging it back towards you, just two or three inches at a time. And at this point, you're just waiting until you feel it load up from a fish head. Just little tiny strips, a couple inches at a time. Once you get part way back and you feel like you're out of the strike zone. Just go ahead and keep feeding some of that weight through. Slow down the further it gets. And then let it go. Make sure your line doesn't get tangled up. And start the process again, just stripping a little bit at a time. Hopefully this tip helps. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in line. And as always, keep subscribing, and we'll keep more videos coming for you.